26th November 2019. Albania was very badly hit by an earthquake measuring a magnitude of 6.4. The destruction was quite big. The impact of the earthquake, though it was close to the capital of Albania, it was felt as far as 370 kilometers, as far as Bari or even Belgrade. A number of houses were destroyed, loss of life and loss of a property. They reported to say at least about 70 people got killed in that earthquake. About 2,500 people were injured and were hospitalized. And close to 4,000 people lost their abode, their houses, because of which they were forced to live in open tents. The destruction caused by the earthquake was so large that the government of Albania canceled their annual independence celebrations, which were to take place on the 28th November. But that was not all. One month later, as the church in Albania was preparing itself to celebrate Christmas, they were left with a question. Amidst the destruction, so much of suffering, so much of pain, loss of life and property, people who are shelterless living in shelters which are temporary, Amidst all this, should we celebrate Christmas with all its pomp and with all its glory? What is the meaning of Christmas amidst this loss and this sorrow, this suffering and this uncertainty? As the church leaders were trying to discern for themselves. Little further away from the city of Duras, where the lots of destruction took place, there was a church dedicated in the name of St. Alphonsus Maria di Ligori in a small township called Kazem. They decided to go ahead with the celebrations they said, for sure, Christmas has got a message and has got something to give to us. And so a few of them came together and they decided to put up a crib. And in order to create that crib, they put their minds together and ultimately they created or made a crib in this fashion. They created or built the city of Bethlehem amidst the ruins of the city of Duras. They portrayed in that crib the city Duras which was destroyed with all its rubble of dust, 
broken furniture, bricks, and amidst that, the city of Bethlehem, which was recreated in that crib, they placed the three figures. Mary, a mother, Joseph, and the baby Jesus in the manger. They depicted in all its possible way the destruction that was all around them and amidst that destruction that Jesus was born. And apart from that, they also placed a few figures. People who were, looked like sh shepherds, people who were in rags, people who were sick, people who were wounded and were lying on the bed. With that recreation, my dear brothers and sisters, the Redemptorist Parish, St. Alphonsus Maria de Ligori, gave a clear-cut message to say that Christ is born. Christ is with us. Christ is with us, Emmanuel, in this situation, in our conditions of life, as they were, as naked as they were. Pain, suffering, loss of life, loss of property, people who were shelterless. God with us, God as close as much as possible to us. Dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate Christmas, the birth of our Savior, I wish to say it is nothing but, it is an expression of God's solidarity with us. An expression of his longing to be with us. His yearning to be with us. Whatever the condition that we might be, it is his dream to be in communion with us. And that is what is the Feast of Christmas, the mystery of incarnation. And St. Alphonsus Maria de Ligori, founder of the Redemptorists, has got a lot to say about the mystery of incarnation. He gives different kinds of insights, rich, deep, and spiritual insights. Jesus, one who was born in the cave of Bethlehem in the manger, he says first and foremost he was a small little baby. He was small, little as he was, in flesh and blood. Though he was divine, he emptied himself and he put on himself the human nature. But he could have chosen to be rich, but instead he chooses to be poor. He chooses to humble himself. He chooses himself to be merciful. And he chooses himself to be one with us. And ultimately, St. Alphonsus, he says, if at all Jesus, though divine he was, he emptied himself and he became one like us, flesh and blood, a little babe, babe of Bethlehem, it is only because of one thing. It is because he loves us. It is because he is madly in love with us. He's crazy about us because of that. 
in order to save us, he becomes one with us in human nature, in flesh and blood. For St. Alphonsus, the mystery of incarnation is an expression of the unconditional love of the Father. And he talks about as gives a kind of spiritual insight into this mystery of incarnation. He talks about three types of movement. And he names these three movements as empathetic movements. What do we mean by empathy? Empathy means we feeling one with the person. We try to think as the other person is thinking. We enter into the shoes of the other person so much so I can feel the pain. I can feel the loss or the suffering or the sickness of anything that the person is undergoing and it becomes my experience. In fact, I become one of him or one of her, so much so their feelings, their aspirations, their desires, their dreams, everything becomes part of me. So if he's talking about empathetic movement, what is he talking about? St. Alphonsus, first thing he refers to is the father's empathetic love for the humanity. The father expresses or manifests his empathetic love for the wounded humanity, for the humanity that was in sin and in distress. What does he do? Instead of condemning that humanity which was filled with a sin, he chooses to save the humanity. He chooses to liberate the humanity. He chooses to redeem that humanity. So what does he do? He chooses to send his only son, Jesus the Redeemer. And that is what we read in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he sent his only son. He sent his son not to condemn the world, but the world might be saved through him. The empathetic love of the Father is manifested by sending his only son, Jesus. The second empathetic love or the movement that St. Alphonsus speaks of is the empathetic love of Jesus, the Son of God, Son of Redeemer, Son of the Father, the Redeemer. What does he do? He becomes an expression of the love of the Father. He incarnates, he makes present the mercy and the compassion of God the Father, the tender love of the Father. That is why as St. Alphonsus in his Novena, has beautifully reflects with us. That is why, in order to express his love for each one of us, he becomes one with us. He becomes the poor. He becomes a migrant. He becomes a stranger. He becomes the little babe of Bethlehem. St. Paul VI, speaking about this littleness of Jesus, he says, Jesus became the little one, the small one and the babe of Bethlehem in all his frailty, in all his weakness. It is because we can approach him. We can reach out to him 
without any kind of fear, without any kind of inhibition. We can draw as much as closer to him so that we can touch him and feel him and smell him. And St. Alphonsus, talking about that littleness that was made visible to us in the form of the babe of Bethlehem in that manger, he says, Jesus, he uncovered himself of everything. He emptied himself of everything in order to be one with us. That is the beauty of the mystery of incarnation. That is the beauty of the celebration of Christmas. God with us. God with us in all circumstances of our lives. In all the conditions of our human frailty. Just as the Christians of Albania had the question in their minds. Are we prepared to celebrate Christmas? What is the meaning of Christmas in these pandemic times? Amidst the typhoons, amidst the wildfires, amidst the incessant rains or the floods, Amidst so much of suffering and sickness, amidst so much of loss of life, loss of property, uncertainty because of unemployment, what is Christmas to us? It is nothing but to say, God is with us. God is in love with us in whatever the conditions that we are. Dear brothers and sisters, apart from the empathetic love of the Father and Jesus, St. Alphonsus also speaks of the third movement of empathetic love. And that is precisely related to us. As people who experience the love of the Father in his only son Jesus, the Redeemer, the babe of Bethlehem, we are called to be empathetic in our expressions of love, in our relationship with our brothers and sisters, especially the people who are sick, suffering, lonely, people who are rejected, dejected, people who have no shelter. It is not only those kinds of cases, but also we are called to be empathetic, to be people who embody that love of the Father, that tender love of the Father to each other at home in our workplaces, on the streets, to whomever it may be. That is how we will make present the love of the Father in the person of Jesus and his instruments, each of us. That is the challenge that is posed to us as we celebrate Christmas. Jesus, the babe of Bethlehem, God with us. God with us in all conditions of our lives, making us feel, experience the love of the Father, the tender love of the Father, the love of the Father which we can touch, which we can feel, which we can smell. And that love of the Father, we are called to make present to the other 
so that we become another Christ to our brothers and sisters, especially the poor and the abandoned. May the babe of Bethlehem, who makes us relive the experience of the love of the Father today by his birth, may he fill our lives with his peace, joy, and hope for the days to come. Amen.